it would have been a big shame for P2B and Labour Party if we had given them a large venue. Governor Suli, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. The incumbent Nasarawa State Governor Abdullahi Suli has said that he rendered a big favor to P2B and Labour Party when they were denied the Lafayette Square to have their campaign flag off. It will be recalled that Labour Party Presidential Campaign Council accused the government of Nasarawa State for not allowing them to use the Lafayette Square during their presidential campaign flag off a few weeks ago. Speaking to the news channel television, the news central, central television, in an exclusive interview, Governor Sude said it would have been a big shame for P2B and the Labour Party if they have used the square. According to him, the secondary school field that was approved for them to use had a low turnout. We did them a big favour because even the primary school field, they could not feel it. It would have been a big shame if they had used the Lafayette Square. The government stated during the interview, it is not supposed to be your, your problem or your business. Once you have given somebody something, oh, I give you this and I hand it over to you, use it for this particular purpose. I don't think you're supposed to be having anything to do with that particular thing, if you ask me. Uh -huh. you, you give somebody something or let's say you suggest some, uh, something for someone and then that's just, that is just it. I feel that there's a law, if you ask me, a law should be put in place where I feel there should be a law, a law, I mean, guarding this, you know, the state or preventing state from, should I say, monopolizing this kind of um, resources. When it comes to campaign, I don't think any political party, you know, even if that party is APC, you can go to that particular per, a party, even if you are, let's say, um, P PDP or even Labour Party. I feel that is how it should be. You go there and campaign. Why? Because those people, that, that the state facilities are not for the pa political party. It's for states. So a political party said they won't come campaign. It's cool and fine. If you know you're going to be giving it to, you know, to your party as well, to your party as well, you are the governor of your state. And because maybe you're a PDP member, you say, okay, this particular venue i'm not going to be giving out to apc i'm not going to be giving out to the pdp the best thing that can happen is that you as a person is that you as a person make sure that you don't give it to any party so that you don't sound like ah this governor is being uh, is being biased that's the best way to go about it if you ask me that's the perfect way to go about it because coming out to say, okay, let my political party use and let others not use, it will cause wala. It will cause problems. Huge problems. Hmm? And then, let me, let me just, re re I think, recap what was said earlier before. It will be recalled that the Labour Party Presidential Campaign Council, PCC, Accused the government of Nasarawa State for not allowing them to use the Lapa Square. First of all, this should not even occur. If you ask me, he did not even. How am I going to put it now? He said they refused them. It's not supposed to. This kind of thing we're not supposed to hear. Around. Meaning, if you want to refuse one person, you're going to refuse all. Oh, that is what I'm trying to. That's what I'm trying to. Hmm? Then he said, it will be recorded that Labour Party Presidential Campaign Council accused the government of Nasser Abbasi for not allowing them to use the last word, Lafayette Square during their presidential campaign flag of a few weeks ago, which of course is not supposed to be so. Speaking to News Central TV in an exclusive interview, Governor Sule said it would have been a big shame for P2B and the Labour Party if they had used the square. Allow them to use it first. Allow them use this particular, um, what's it called? This, um, this thing. How do I put it now? If you know you're not going to allow members of your party, hmm? if you know that you're not going to allow, I mean, you're not going to hold it back from members of your party, 
feel free, go ahead. But if not, if you're going to brave his member of, members of your party, then no problem. According to him, the secondary school feel that he approved for them to use had a low turnout. We did them a big favor because even the primary school field, they could not feel it. To me, I can sense mocking here. It would have been a big shame if they had used the Lafayette Square, the governor stated during the interview. But like I said earlier before, like I said earlier before, governors are supposed to be not, not permitted. It's not supposed to be permitted by, no. Okay. And I think another thing we should do is, we should make sure that, um, I've said it before, instead of parties, we should start feeling, ah, these people are not just going to vote for us, because I want to believe if a political party does well, like we have a party in this country that comes out and do, does something very well, are we not going to, how am I going to put it? Ha, huh? I don't know how to, I don't know how to say what I mean. Let me put it that way. If political parties now should actually come out and let's say, for instance, you have APC in a particular state and they do well, are you supposed to be saying, I don't want to give my, my street or party to, um, uh, uh, what's it called? Street or party to, uh, I mean, resources. I don't want to help them. If they do well in power. Once they do, I'm, I'm just saying, if they do well on power, they won't, see, they won't need preferential treatment. There is nothing. They will not need preferential treatment. Not even at all. Hmm? And that is one, that is just as one of the things. You did well, and they are coming out to knock on your door and say, okay, oh, please give me this, this, this one. Uh -uh. No problem. But the thing is, most of us political parties, we always see, it is either they don't have the interest of even the citizens or the indigents of that particular state or the residents of that particular state. And then, should I say, should I say um, he's actually right or wrong? Well, I don't think so. Um, at the end of the day, there is no, um, at the end of the day, you know, that is how it is supposed to be. You perform well, you know, you don't need preferential treatment. They don't need to give you, they don't need to not give people a particular place so that you can, you know, be comfortable because you did better. But rather, you did better, you did better with that. Hmm? All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of the day.